Cecilia, I feel like the first time we met, anything could have happened. There I was, a fresh-faced 21-year-old, wearing a backwards hat, eating a hot dog in this Cabo San Lucas airport. And there you were, wearing that blue dress that I'll never forget, slightly exasperated from having talked your way out of a speeding ticket from the Federale. You were confident, charismatic, fun, and beautiful. I was in love. As we shared the last five years together, some under the same roof and some thousands of miles apart, the love and appreciation I have for you has grown with each day. The amazing amount of effort you put into visiting me, wherever I was, is one of the main reasons we are standing here today. Those little visits and trips together gave us the fuel we needed. It is that same commitment to one another that will carry us forward for the rest of our lives. Although I look back on those adventures fondly, the contentedness I get from curling up with you on the couch with Frida in the scrap room. You truly are my best friend and I love every moment. The summer evenings blading along Hawkeye Beach. The winter days wondering if the rain will ever stop. I wouldn't want to spend the time so that I have it in you. I've watched in awe as over the last five years you've accomplished so many amazing things. I'm inspired each day to wake up and work as hard as you do. You are so incredibly dedicated to your friends, your family, your passions, and our relationship. You are so dangerous. As we head off into a life of first and unexpected, there are a few promises that I want you to know you can always count on. I promise to encourage your creativity and silliness because that is what makes you so special. I promise to urge you to go after what you want and reach a little higher. I promise to be loyal and always truthful. I promise to take care of our little family. I promise to love you, hold you, and cherish you. I promise you a lifetime full of laughter, adventure, and joy. I promise you my unconditional love. Over the course of writing these vows, I've asked myself several times when I knew I was in love with you. That's a silly question to ask myself because I've always known the answer. You were sitting at a plastic table at the San Jose Del Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> the San Jose Del Cabo Airport eating a hot dog with your baseball cap on backwards. <laughs> you know each other. The truth is that I fall more in love with you every single day. I love you ardently. I will always love you. You are to me the most special human being on earth. You are kind to everyone you meet and you are never mean out of spite. You've made me laugh every single day since I met you and you never take yourself too seriously. You make me feel so incredibly loved and accepted for who I am completely and I can only hope that I make you feel the exact same way. I promise to be there for you to revel in your success and provide comfort in disappointing times. I promise to never stop learning about you and to grow with this knowledge and be better for it. I promise to bring as much laughter into your world as you bring into mine and to never stop singing at the top of my lungs with you. I, above all, promise to love you forever until my dying day because I love you, Keith Ray Bennett. And by the power vested in me by the state of Washington, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now share your first kiss as husband and wife. Congratulations.
get some of that ice? Yeah, I get her.